کان البیت اینڈ وین وی ٹولڈ ابراہیم علیہ سلاۃ وسلام دس از دی پلیس ویئر یو شوڈ بلڈ دی ہاؤس فار می اللہ تشریق بھی شیا دی فرسٹ کمانڈمنٹ گیون ٹو ہم واز نیور ایسوسیٹ اینی بڈی اینی تھنگ ود می نیور کمٹ اینی فارم آف شرک ود می اینڈ آفٹر سم آئی آر یو نو وی فائن دا ورڈس و مئی یو شرک بلا فکان دما خر من السماء فتخت فو طیر و تحوی به الریح فی مکان صحیق ہو سو ایور کمٹ شرک ود اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی It is as if he has fallen from the heaven and now he is at the mercy of the birds of prey. They might tear him off or the wind. It might take him to any you know, ditch in which he falls and is torn into pieces. This is the simile used here to what end this shirk can lead a man, a woman, a human being. And let me mention here also, you know, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, he has three places among the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which are very peculiar to him. اِتَّخَذُ اللَّهُ إِبْرَاهِيمَ خَلِيلًا Allah adopted him as his friend, Khalil. إِنِّي جَعَلُكَ لِلنَّاسِ إِمَامَ I am going to make you imam for the whole of humanity. And you know, he is Abu Lambiya. How many prophets and messengers of Allah? They were from his progeny. Either, you know, the line which started from Hazrat Ishaq alayhi salatu wa salam and Hazrat Yaqub and so many prophets of the line of Bani Israel. They are all sons of Ibrahim. <coughs> and the last of all, who was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam? Son of Ibrahim again. The second line. which was there from Ismail alayhi salatu wa salam. But you know the greatest certificate that is given to Ibrahim in the Quran, the greatest testimonial which is given to him in Quran six times is وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ He was not from among the mushriks. So it is the biggest testimonial that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to a person, to a man, to a human being. Now, let me come to the last ayah, and that is from the last section of Surah Al-Zumar. وَلَقَدْ وُحِيَا إِلَيْكَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing here Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam personally. O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it has been revealed to you before. وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُ And it was revealed to all the prophets who came before you. لَئِن نَشْرَكْتَ Even if you commit shirk لَيَحْبَطَنَّ عَمَلُكْ All of your deeds you have, that you have earned up till now will go in vain. Will go away. Vanish. Will be multiplied by zero. لَئِن نَشْرَكْتَ Even you, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم If you commit shirk all of your deeds will go in vain. Will be You know, reduced to a zero. وَلَا تَكُونَ لَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ And you will also become one of those who are in loss. So this is, you know, in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is, you know, the big crime, the unpardonable sin. This is shirk. Now let me explain it in another form. We have seen before you know in six lectures, six sessions. Our deen is Deenu Tawheed. Islam is Deenu Tawheed. If you want to express Islam in one word, what is it? It is Deenu Tawheed. And I told you the basic Iman or you may say comprehensive Iman is Iman Billah or Tawheed. We know that in, in Iman-e-Mujmal, only Iman Billah is mentioned. Aman to Billahi, wa malai, wa aman to Billahi, kama huwa bi asmaihi wa sifatihi, wa qabil to jami ahkamihi, iqraum bil lisani wa tasdiqu bil qur. Now, shirk is the opposite of tawheed. 
And you know there is a saying, a proverb in Arabic, Toraful Ashiao be Azdadeha. Things can be more understood in the context of the antonyms, the opposites. You can appreciate what is day if you have seen night. If you have never seen night, you can't understand what you mean by day. You know it by contrast. Simultaneous contrast makes things clear. Toraful Ashiao be Azdadeha. So if you want to understand what is Tawheed, you must understand what is Shirk. And if you want to understand what is Shirk, you must understand what is Tawheed. So they are actually antonyms to each other. And let me make a statement. Although it might appear to be in the very beginning very categorical, but I'll prove that this is correct. The statement is, all good whether it concerns thought or deed, any good, whether in action, in deed, or in thought, is a corollary of Tawheed. Every evil, whether in action, deed, or of thought, or of Aqidah, it is necessarily a corollary of Shirk. That is my categorical statement. Just like you know, a tree has a root, then a trunk, then branches and leaves. Every leaf of the tree is connected with the, with the root. So actually the root of Deen is Tawheed. So whatever is there in this tree, tree, the trunk, the branches, the leaves, the fruit, the flowers, they are all actually connected with this root. And the opposite is also correct. All evil, whether in thought, 